Hey, I'm excited, drove through the rain. I need a Sprinter van. Somebody called me up, get Mercedes Benz and get Pastor a Sprinter van. That's gonna be Deacon SJ's job. I need a Sprinter van with the big TV in the back. I need a driver so I can kick back. It's agape, it's a lifestyle. I get my man, oh my God, I'm, I'm so excited. I got my man, Anthony Warborn, his beautiful wife, Jay. He's the deacon in training, man. Mm -hmm. We're training another deacon and deaconess. We started Saturday with his training and we thank God for that. I'm so excited. Pastor B surprised me. I didn't know they were coming to the studio, so I'm gonna be excited at the whole show end of the month but it's a great thing they said wait a minute rev they said they want to know about rev shoe game i told them we started oh, it off last we week and apostle i got my socks on oh, they said what is the goodness. shoe game i got the alexander mcqueens on today <laughs> they always want to know the shoe game apostle they asked me on the website they hooked me up i got that i got the fancy stripes in them too see the stripes see the stripes my dude hooked me up shout out to my main man at nordstrom's he's watching a show cal is his name we thank god i got two pairs or shoestrings amen so i can take my shoes off because i got this little thing going on but check this out we're gonna break this thing down so cold-blooded today jill scott's got a song called living my life like it's golden we're gonna copy no disrespect for a subject tonight living my life like it's golden i was just thankful here's what happened real quick I'm married to an angry black woman. Apostle James said it. She's just angry. She said it's her job. She said it's this. She said it's that. She says because I don't cook all that stuff. But Jay, here's what happened. I was we were we were beefing a little bit. You know, we're transparent. I don't know what it was. It wasn't no major beef because ain't nobody going to work. We were beefing about something. Holy Spirit hit me. What my mom said. My mom said, if she can't uh, uh, come up under your headship as a husband, then that's not the wife for you. And that's like before you get married. So now with that being said, beefing and then we stop beefing. I come to church, I preach and one of my spiritual sons came home from prison. He came into the church. He said, pastor, man, I remember when you wasn't married, man, you was begging God for a wife, man. You just, oh, that's all you was talking about. You said it's better to marry and not burn. You wasn't tripping. And he said, that's the brown shirt girl. Although she did something different with her hairstyle, but he was like, check this out, check. And man, the Holy Spirit hit me. And from that day, it was, I, the Holy Spirit told me that after an argument i said i'm never arguing with my wife again i'm telling every husband out there i'm on a mandate i'm on a mission for real it's gonna be in my book when she starts to try an argument since it's been about three calendar weeks i don't even do it i even hit on it in service sunday jay i was preaching about it. i'm not doing it because the holy ghost told me remember when you didn't have a wife and you wanted a wife and then sent one of my sons who i hadn't seen in like Man, over like maybe eight years, seven years into the church. And he came into the church and he said, Rev, the reason I'm telling you that, man, I'm separated. Mm. He said, don't lose your good thing, man. Oh, it's agape. It's a lifestyle, man. We got it going on. Deacon Bussy's going to jump right in. We check this out. Living my life like it's golden. It's nothing but positive vibes tonight. What in your life do you love the most? What in you? What in your life do you love the most? I got it written down. But before I turn it over to, to the team, watch this. I got to get a shout out. They told me, stop, start doing that. I used to do it. I never did. I did the shoe game. New viewers, Kennard, Alina. Tina, Mark, my main man, Patrick Henry Glenville, Chesterfield, Fairport, Omen. We call him Skates and his beautiful wife, <laughs> Lauren. We thank God, Phil and Natasha, Kevin Porter, my Glenville guy again, and Stacy, my Ohio U girl. We hooked that thing up good. We got it going on. Alan Williams and Cynthia, they hit me up on Facebook. They're not following the show. Linda Mack. Pastor V, this is our, we were boyfriend and girlfriend in the seventh grade oh, wow. at Patrick Henry Junior High. And she saw us on Facebook and her and her husband started following us. That's Shout out cool. to my, my girl, Linda Mack. That's her married name and her husband, Ben, Ralph and Teresa. Teresa sold cards with me at Sims Chrysler Plymouth. Saw us on Facebook, following us on the show on KAZ Radio TV, Agape is a Lifestyle. Deacon Bussy, what's going on before I give it to the woman of God? I'm, man, I'm, I'm a, how did this happen? I, did y'all plan this Sunday or today? No, it was just right at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. spur, put something together. Spur of the moment, I had to put something you together. Right, no. I you gotta get, say, be ready. If you stay ready, <laughs> you ain't got to get, get ready. ready. Wow, right. if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. <laughs> but I got to get one of them caps, what it says up there, beast. Man, I say beast. He's yeah. in beast mode. Yeah. Jay, what's going on? <laughs> Deacon Ness in training. They got matching hats on. So I, I love like it. I got to like, give me that black sheet. We all got sheet. on black tonight. It's a black mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Apostles got on black. It's mm -hmm. a black thing. It's Black History Month, 366 yes. black. Yes, Jay, what's going on? What made you do this when Pastor V said, let's do it? Oh, I, I stay ready. You stay Whenever ready. Call, you ain't got to get ready. That's Praise right. God. Awesome. Woman of God, how did you pull it off? When did you, today. 
Because Janelle you was always, supposed to be on the show. Yeah, it was always supposed to. But I thought about talking about. So you about, weren't angry today, huh? You know what I mean? Angry black. Nah, I was angry, angry this today. morning with you. I, my coffee wasn't ready when I got up. I had to push the button. The that's, coffee had to get ready. That's because I had to drive to Warren, Ohio. It's okay. But well, anywho. Oh, uh, no. I, you I, um, messed up the timer. It would have been ready, but you don't do the timer thing. See. Anyway, I just reached out to Jay. You know, wow. I wanted them to come on the show. That's um, cool. That's what's I up. I love the fact how they wow. are. Um, such a big part of, of the ministry, of the ministry. Yes, they um, and they're starting off with yes, us and yes, building with yes, us and then yes. I love the fact um, wow. about their blended family and so yeah. that's one of the things I wanted to talk about um, today on top wow. about blended living my family. life living my life like it's, it's golden. golden so they are living their life yeah. like it's golden here's one thing I love about Jay and Bussy Bussy's his nickname mm-hmm. check this out man we were doing zoom watch this every preacher you gotta hit this every preacher watching we're doing zoom for our new life in Christ that's our Tuesday Bible study we do November December January February mm-hmm. we do zoom ever since the pandemic got you we'll be back in a building in March so we serve communion on zoom at the end of the uh, uh, show the broadcast mm-hmm. the Bible study and this blew me away I saw Jay Bussy mm-hmm. Charles and Charlie they were all taking communion together mm-hmm. then Deacon Bussy the dad the dad 2.0 he said pastor I'm gonna lead this family to glory I'm going to wow. lead this family wow. to glory. Wow. I said, oh, my God. Love it. What made y'all do that? You set the kids down at the table, and they, y'all was all taking communion. Yeah. Blew me away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What made you do that? I mean, I just feel like um, we do it at church all the time. So mm-hmm. I was like, Dag, let's get some of the, um, let's get the little communion mm-hmm. things and mm-hmm. take them home. And take them home. Right, 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 right. Once we got home, and it was just, we all was on Bible right. study, but we right. was all in the kitchen and everything. Right. Food, dinner was being served, right. body served. Right. And I was like, come on, y'all, let's all take communion. Now right. they looking for me in the house oh, on yeah. Tuesday. Oh, right. wow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. So you instituted that as yeah. a father, as the leader of your home. Yes. What does it mean to black men to lead their family? What does it mean? Oh, what does it mean when a black man leads his family? What happens to the family? If a black man is leading his family, mm-hmm. his queen, his children, the little cubs, what does that mean to the family? Um, it kind of gives, like I told Jay today, mm. to have that order in the home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The order in the home. That and, order. you know, coming into the house, Jay had kids right. and I had kids. Mm-hmm. They were, the you know, yep. We had to blend the family. So mm-hmm. exactly. I had to be real. I had to be, I, I just had to sit back and watch the kids for a long time right, just right, right. and get in yeah. and slide in. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like you come straight through the door, man. No. It's like, right, you got to get in right, where you fit in. Right. So I had to get in where I fit in. <laughs> after they seen how I was treating Jay, mm. then that yeah. made them kind of fall in line with me. Because mm-hmm. they yeah. saying, okay, he, he got mom, he taking care of mom, mom. Mm-hmm. so he love my mom, so... I guess we could love him. Wow. Wow. That's That's good. I I like that you didn't force it. No. Jay, what about the blended family in America? We got so many blended families. Now, you guys Mm -hmm. blended smaller age children together. Mm -hmm. But what's the secret to blending a family? What's your secret to blending a family? Um, I, like I, like I, like he said, I, I definitely think the man needs to lead the household. Mm-hmm. Um, God first, yeah. right. and everything else follows. It does, it and does. Um, that's just where we are. And um, right. a lot wow. of times, I know it's hard for women to accept men mm. with children, mm-hmm. but yes. I have sons, so right. I want them to know just as you would accept someone else's children, mm-hmm. they should accept yours as well. Wow. That's good. Being raised in church, raised in Christ. Pastor B told me you, your home church was Cleveland Church of Christ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? How did that play? Does that play a factor in blending the family? Talking to people for real talk, being a Christian woman, being raised in Christ, being raised in church, does that play a factor? It it does, but I it takes it, it takes for you to grow right. and mm-hmm. mature to realize mm-hmm. yeah. that that mm-hmm. plays a part in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to grow and mature. Yes, part of our A game. The G stands for growth. Right. right Pastor, right, what right. about the blended family with older children? We blended the family, but everybody's grown, so that's no disrespect. I think that's it's different. Back. It's different. It's a totally different ball. It's game. different, yeah, but you know. So. You have to think about like what I told you earlier. I want it always to be um, oh, you to have family. family. Yeah, like you know what I mean? For the, like like together. how my mom did. You know, yeah. everybody would yeah. come over to the house on Sundays or on, on the holidays or whatever. But you know, time well, that didn't work. So that didn't work for us as a blended family. We're transparent. We got yeah. a well, it didn't work. 32, 32, No, it didn't. That didn't work because they're living their so life. They're, they're, they're living their life. Things. That's they're how right. Yeah. So, but that right. that's how I saw it. So, and that's right. how I wanted to. Yeah, but it didn't happen that way. The only one that comes over. Janelle right you know what I'm right. saying um she's there all the time so but you know um right we see them sometimes on the holidays right. or whatever holidays but but birthdays. even even right now even though that happened with us mm-hmm. growing up mm-hmm. it's still 
it still doesn't go that way now. Right. When holidays come, you know, people, you know, the family are doing their own thing or whatever. They got yeah. their own yeah, families their and own stuff. Thing. Yeah, I mean, it's um, now. it's yeah. uncommon now. Mm-hmm. Like, and I wish mm-hmm. we, like Pastor was um, stating um, Tuesday, mm-hmm. we wish, where's that old church that used to oh, be like uh, that, before? Yeah. And like those old values and standards and stuff. And I, you know, I miss mm-hmm. that. But our kids being grown, it didn't happen that way. And so I just, it, it is what it is. You know what wow, I mean? Wow, the barbershop wants to know. We have a lot of talk, a lot of people that call us up, different conversations. The barbershop asked me a question. Pastor, how long does it take to become a deacon and what do I have to do? So that's one of my good brothers probably want to do. Her first brother, you got to come to church. You know what I'm talking about? That's number one because you are a member of the church, but you got to come to the church. Number two is a calling. And the deacon says uh, back in the old days of the church, they, they needed people to help serve. They said mm-hmm. Pastor Aiken shouldn't be out just serving like that. So they said find uh, uh, some brothers who would take care of tables. Uh, basically, it was a welfare system going on with the uh, with the women who were uh, uh, widow women. And mm-hmm. it was a food distribution ministry. Mm-hmm. There it is. Look it up. Acts, the sixth chapter is a food, a food distribution ministry. And they say, wait a minute, Pastor Aiden can't take her that. He need Bussy and some other That's brothers right. to help. So find some brothers that's got a good reputation, mm-hmm. full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. And then there it is today. And you also want to help with the church, help serve the pastor mm-hmm. and all that good stuff. How do you feel being a deacon in training? Uh, How does it feel? For me, a deacon in training, right? It just—it's kind of like a lot of the stuff that I was doing in my life, mm-hmm. right? And coming up, and then getting past all the all the turmoil mm-hmm. and all mm-hmm. the the madness, right. yeah. And then growing yeah. into myself, right? It's okay. like Ooh, I, I like feel that. like it was called on me, like yeah. I didn't even know, like mm-hmm. I remember right. I told you, I said yeah. mm-hmm. one day it was yeah. like, okay, you a deacon elect, you're and I'm like, hold on, <laughs> I, got the, I was like, Jay, hold on, I ain't ready for this, ready. but you don't get to be ready yeah. for it. Right. When God wants you in a position and puts right. you in a place, then you just have to follow it. Yeah, you do I really believe that? And that's, that's true. what I've been. I just been following it. Yeah, I'm taking it. care of what we need to do and yes, everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Check this out on the website. Here's a good question. This came from the website. Mm-hmm. Check this out. We're second time arounders. You know, we've been married, divorced, and remarried. Mm-hmm. They said this brother's going on. He's he wants to do a third time. But here's the question the brother asked me. He said, Pastor, start to show off with it. And I told him I will. Here's the question he asked me. He says, and I, I don't have to paraphrase. He mm-hmm. broke it all the way down for me. It's a long text. Pastor, uh, first wife passed away in a car accident tragically. You mm-hmm. know about that. Mm-hmm. I did. Second wife lasted six years. It just didn't work. Now this time. Found a young lady in church. We've been dating now for over two years, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid to remarry because of. And here's the problem. The blended family. She has mm. a 16 year old, so I need help with that from the woman of God. Uh oh. And <laughs> Jay's gonna help. Jay's gonna help us with it too. Although he texted me this early day, I need help with that. And he's mm-hmm. watching the show. You watching the show? Got you. All right, bro. So we'll ask Jay also since she's on the on the panel too. Uh, 16 year old. That's the youngest, mm-hmm, correct? Mm-hmm. That's what you told me today. Everybody else has grown. So you said you like Pastor Rob and Pastor V. But now Deacon, uh, Deacon S. J. Deacon Bussy, they have smaller kids in the home. How with that 16 year old Jay, should he be afraid of that? He's afraid he is 49. Mm. His wife is four. Oh, 39. Did I get it right? 39, 49. Hold on. He told me 39. I'm 49. She's 39. Yep. There it is. They got a 10 year difference there, but the 16 year old is her daughter. Mm. And that's the whole of They've been for two years. He bought the ring Christmas to give it to her. So what advice would you give him, Jay? Um, what advice I, would you give him? I would say don't force anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Just yeah, let right. everything happen um, right. naturally, as right. organically as possible. Ooh, organically, mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. Um, definitely just keep a level of respect. Right. And, and you know, my grandmother raised me, so I believe mm-hmm. in Old school values. giving respect yeah, and demanding too. respect. Yeah, so right, right, right. Um, yeah, that's good. That's, that's good. I like that. Don't yeah. force it. Yeah. Be respectful. Is that hard, Deacon Bussy, with a 16-year-old? If Jay had a 16-year-old daughter in the home? Mm-hmm. How old is Char- Charlie is? No, you got oh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, my oldest. Jer- mm-hmm. he, was, wow. he was actually, uh, we had a time. 16? <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. Interesting. So how was it, Bussy? Uh, what, would, what advice would you give him, rather? I, 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 my advice would be right. to... Pay attention to his likes and the things that he likes like and the that. things that you hear him talk right, about right. that 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 makes him happy. Mm-hmm. And you can piggyback off of that mm-hmm. and you can kind of like do some personal stuff with him. Like mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. if it's like 
he likes the cars. He likes cars. Okay, mm-hmm. right, okay? Right, right. Now you can go to the car show just you and him. Just have yeah, that conversation. And enjoy, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. enjoy some time with him yeah. alone, yeah. which is next yeah. time where y'all can get a bond. That's good. good. I, I like, like that, that too. I like that. Woman of God, yeah, what pay, do you pay, mean? Paying attention to, like Beacon uh, uh, Bussy said, paying attention to their likes and their dislikes too, right. right? So you try to find out what is so interesting to them and try to meet them right there because right. then you, you can start a conversation and yes. you don't know where that'll right. take out yeah. from. That will build your relationship, that one on one. One time. one time mm-hmm. sometimes we try to jump into relationships don't force it, JC. right don't force you it. try to force something right. um and you can't do that i right. learned that being in the military like every right. time i would go to a new duty station being the staff sergeant and everything yeah. and i'm going in i'm always assessing the situation because right. everything don't always need um something changed Change. drastically exactly. you know right. what i'm saying right. yeah. so there may right. be some, some things that i may Wait need to minute. tweak or whatever right. but i'm still paying attention and and, mm-hmm. and and seeing what that needs what needs to happen so mm-hmm. it's the same thing in relationship mm-hmm. i didn't want to jump into our mission oh my god if i would have did something like i like when i was in the military with him as mm-hmm. far as like the things like I like the way things I wanted and when I was mm-hmm. in my on my own if mm-hmm. I would have jumped into our marriage like that we wouldn't we wouldn't be married right. uh, for real yeah. because yeah, there's right. some things like I, I believe with him some some things too right, right, you know what right, I'm saying right, right. Um, it's just a myriad of things so you right. just gotta don't, you got you gotta eat it. don't rush it you gotta yeah. ease into that yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Watch this. Kevin said, I could tell his name, Kevin and Stacy. Watch this. We tried to blend it family, mm-hmm. Pastor. You know the story because we kind of told you about it. We tried to blend it family and it didn't work. The 14 year old had to move in with the grandmother because um, mm. the 14 year old daughter said, I tried to touch her. Her mother believed her, caused a bunch of problems for us. You remember we came to you for counseling. I do. It just didn't work. 14, 15, 16, 17, she came back, but the vibe didn't work. She mm. moved back with grandma. She is now 25, Pastor. Everything worked out. One thing I know for sure and two for certain is don't force anything. Mm-hmm. Also, children can be liars. Mm. Hard word, but I told my wife she now agrees. She stood by me, mm-hmm. but it was a testing time for us. It almost cost us our marriage. You counsel us. We thank you. We're still watch- we're watching the show. But, Pastor, tell the people more about the children. How do we... How do we conform the children? And if you watch and tell me what you mean by that, I do agree with you that the children can tell a tale Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm because everybody can tell a tale Mm -hmm. and that can ruin a relationship, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, especially if there's a daughter in the house and then the daughter tells the mother that the dad 2.0 touched her. Of course, the mother should. That's a whole nother. And that could lead to, I've seen that lead to a brother catching a case one time and he was innocent. I've, I've seen innocent people incarcerated. So I think with that being said, we really need, um, some type of family counseling. Uh, I think pastoral counseling, but I think the husband and the wife or the, the parties involved, mm-hmm. make sure I think sit the kids down. Remember I told Pastor, I'm a big proponent. Of that. Yeah, I come sit to, let's sit, sit down at the table, have a, have a conversation. Line. Yeah. So everybody's on the same page. Yeah. Everybody's and, on the and same you know, page. like sometimes, right. um, Oh, wow. Um, single moms who have been on their own for a long, a long time, raising their children, mm-hmm. um, it's kind of hard, like when they mm-hmm. see somebody else come in. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. we we talked yeah. about that. Uh, we talked about a spirit of entitlement, mm-hmm. um, and we were talking to another young lady mm-hmm. who um, this happened with. Um, right. She was on her own for a, a while, and she got she got boys. Mm-hmm. And when the man came in, they got they got married and everything. They had a spirit of entitlement, and so mm-hmm. mom had been the the boy is like eleven, and the other one is like mm-hmm. fifteen, and so the fifteen year old thought he was the man of the house. So now mm-hmm. this man comes in the picture. Right. He's feeling some kind right. of way. He feels right. like their like their mom is mm-hmm. being taken mm-hmm. away, and so right. she had to sit down at the table. I remember her telling me this. She had to sit down and explain to like, look. I love you just the way I love him, but our love is different. That's my husband versus I love you as my mm-hmm. child. I, I, I'm i loving together, but you know, mm-hmm. you, I don't want you to think that just because he came into the picture mm-hmm. that there's no love for me and my sons. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that entitlement. Yes, that yeah. Entitlement that spirit else. of entitlement. Yeah. When I first met Jay, right. I think Charlie was probably like two or what she was like, two or three. Like, wow. Four. She was four. She was four. She was little. Yeah. Right. She didn't like the fact that I came in, and then <laughs> yeah. now her time was being cut short with Jay. So mm-hmm. what I did was, mm-hmm. right. when I came through the door, 
And right. I had some for Jay. Mm -hmm. I always had some for Chuck. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I agree. Always. <laughs> Which always. made her like, I okay. Mm -hmm. okay I, I like this guy. He's mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. coming in. He ain't just coming from, he ain't bringing that for mom. He's bringing something for <laughs> right. me too. So right. I made it where it was about both of them yeah. instead of just mom. And she's seeing me just catering to mom and yeah. not her. Gotcha. Now, what about Charles? I mean, how old was Charles when you met him? Charles was. He's 15 now. He's a 10. He's a 10, yeah. Was Charles was 10. Charles pretty much stayed upstairs a lot, so. <laughs> okay, he's it wasn't, cool. I mean, I can't even really, re, I can't even really tell when he crossed over and just started liking me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he's one day, cool, he was yeah, like, he's real right. quiet, he's cool, yeah. He's real quiet, he's real quiet. Yeah. yeah. So I guess you know your kids, right, Jay? You, you do. You know your kids. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, what advice would you give a woman who's dating and there is a, the he's got kids, she's got kids, and they kind of vibe in each other, they kind of into each other, but they kind of worried, concerned about the kids. What advice would you give that sister? Mm -hmm. What advice would you give? Should she move fast? Should they should no. they move slow? Should you break it down? What advice would you give her? Definitely move slow. Mm -hmm. When we too. first started dating, I really had not anticipated him meeting my kids. Mm -hmm. I, wow, I'm yeah. very, like, I was like, I don't He's know. He's going right. right. But it, again, that was the thing that happened organically. It wasn't mm -hmm. forced. It yeah. happened. Right. And um, everything just grew. Right. Not by force. Everything yeah. was force, just real right. organic, and I loved it. Yeah. Um, it, it eased my mind it e wow. once I saw that the kids took right. a liking to mm -hmm, him. Mm -hmm. And he didn't force anything with them right. either. Right. I would say um, definitely have a conversation with the kids, though. Right. Yeah. You, know, you just sit down yeah, and have a I conversation so. and let For them sure. know that this yeah. is what's going on. Right. Because it also, and then in turn, prepare the kids for the future. Right. Because yes. sometimes we try to shield our kids, mm -hmm. like, oh, this mm -hmm. is not a conversation for kids, mm -hmm. but it it's is. a way to deliver it. So yes. That they That's understand. good. That's good. Yeah. 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 That's way good. to deliver pastor b what do you think i, I mean i'm <clears throat> just thinking about our situation you know mm -hmm. being transparent you know um aaron was in new york so i mm -hmm. really didn't get to right. have a bond right. with him That's right. um but antoine and i had conversations and whatever i remember him asking me questions about some things that mm -hmm. um in the relationship so mm -hmm. and then oh my god how and you and um what? and chandler was what five five and he's 15 and he's 15 now well, 16. um I can always remember that time when Antoine introduced me as his mom when we went to a wedding and mm. you know we wasn't even we was engaged but we wasn't married yet. Right, so right. just that just having that feeling from him just made me feel especially then I see the bond that you and Janelle have. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. she watched all these crazy shows with him. What is that? Power that and um power, and football, basketball. Power, she yeah. they just and they boxing, coming. Yeah. I'm I'm right. always, you know, booted right. out, but it's mm -hmm. all good, but I just right. love that relationship. Mm -hmm. Brittany and Janelle, uh, Brittany has, you know, her relationship with him, but it's not like, you know, how Janelle right. is, right. but it's okay. Right. It, it, that's what works. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And so like it wasn't forced. It mm -hmm. wasn't anything like that so i love that situation right. again i say don't force anything like you said let it happen organically mm -hmm. i think when you when you force it that creates um sometimes that that tension in the yeah. house too and i don't mm -hmm. like tension mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that creates it. talking about the blended family <clears throat> it's a long text this long-winded lisa <laughs> so talking about the blended family pastor and listening to the broadcast what about spankings remember we talked about that on a show um should i be able to spank my husband's child he's seven and the twins are 11 he does not want me to spank them he would prefer for him to get home and do the discipline we put them in timeouts it's now not working they are disrespecting me as a woman as a wife and even as a mother as the world calls it the 2.0 mother their mother mm. is incarcerated she comes home mm. in january of 2026 Pastor, my husband makes a great living. He he uh, supplies supplies for the home. He's mm -hmm. okay. Supplies for the home. I know what you're saying, but we really need to talk about this. We really need to discuss this. He's watching the show with us. Um, this is the first time he's watching. So please give me him advice as a man, and have Please the deacon no and have the deacon <laughs> give him advice as a man. And I'm gonna break the text up so we can answer that because that's a long text, my sister. So giving giving you some advice as a man, good brother. Um, at that age, just what Pastor Rob thinks, at 7 and 11, she, your wife should be able to discipline those children. Although she's not the biological mother, let's say 2.0, because they're under her roof. We have to respect that. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure she feeds and washes and all that good stuff. Jay is in agreement with me. So as a man, I'm saying you need to give her that authority. 
I had someone that came to me for counsel. They said mm-hmm. they wasn't going to release the other spouse mm-hmm. to do that. Mm-hmm. I disagree. I think if you have smaller children of that age, seven and eleven, you don't have to wait till dad gets home to be disciplined if you're doing something out of order. Um, I think as the as the as the wife as the mother of the house, I think you have you deserve that respect, and I think you deserve that title. To discipline, whether it's with a uh, whether it's a timeout or whether it's with a belt or a spanking, however mm-hmm. you feel. So, good brother, she said you're watching, but y'all in two separate places watching. So, I don't know if you're at work, but that would be my pastoral advice, my man advice, and I might have Deacon my father advice. Again, I think that's uh, I think that's totally not right. She should be able to discipline the children and whatever by every when you're at work and they do something, she should be able to discipline. Plain and simple, Deacon Bussy, what you think? He said that she said he's watching. They're just in separate places. Uh, I oh, feel like she said he's at work. I, I definitely it. feel I like it. he's at work. If they're under her roof, mm-hmm. then they have to abide by her rules. Yes. And in the event that they don't want to, a lot of times you gotta work, you gotta think about it too. That right. woman outside of that mm-hmm. relationship mm-hmm. could be telling them and poisoning mm-hmm. their mind and saying, Ooh, you, hit it. Yeah. you don't have yeah. to listen yeah. to nobody. Yes, yes. yes. he hit it. Whoa, oh, like, man. Nah, they really trying to. <laughs> yes, make yes, so yes, 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 yes. That create the, issues. The man, the man and the woman have to right. become, they have to come together. Yes. And you can't trick me and her against right. each other. Yes, that's ever. fire. Like you can't trick us against each other. Yeah, that's it. Because now I'm going to give her, I'm going to let you guys know that if right. you don't listen to her and right. her disciplinary actions, then it's going to be worse when I get when home. I get home. Mm-hmm. Yes. So you and might want to go on and, and take her discipline. <laughs> that's how it was. If I, I get home, it. it's, it's going to be worse. I love it. I love it. The punishment might be more extensive. It is. Yep. It was. The whipping might come mama. on. I might yeah. have to come on in there and close the door on you. Oh, man, that's fire. Like I said, it might be the outside person that's that's kind of like weighing in and saying, y'all don't got to listen to her because they mad at the relationship. You got to look at that. It's so, so true. Jay, what do you think about it? Should you be able to discipline? Buzzy can discipline Charlie? Absolutely. He he can discipline Charles? Um, Okay. Again, I always, I'm going to always go back to respect. Uh Yeah, I'm big on it. You're big on that. That's the second time you've said that. I've heard Mm -hmm. you keep saying respect and your thing, respect. Yeah. Okay, so, you gotta have that respect. I mean, she's I'm sure she's feeding and clothing. Yeah, me too. All that. She Lots of things. Right. All that. Yeah. That's a hard job and she she deserves her respect. And right. there needs to be there there's order. There has gotta to be, be order, order in the house. DM that's Bussie said that key word. That's a good respect word. And order. Order. I order. like that respect, respect and order. order. Pessy, what do you this, think? This person say he take oh. care of his and I take care of mine. He take care of his no, that doesn't work all the time. I'm just saying the text. Oh, yeah, that's not That's not That person said he take care of his and I take care of mine. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That's not Going, that's not because enough. right that's right not then enough. and there you're creating you're division. all division yeah. no exactly order. you're already not creating order. division they're gonna yeah. see that and say they're gonna see that she don't, don't let him she she don't don't let, let him, me so i can do it yeah absolutely so I can no not i can see the separation order. right yeah. you don't yeah. want that separation in between the parents because once yeah. they get that separation they'll play on it oh for sure division big time and they'll play on it for sure so that uh no mine's and yours take care no like with the money i i don't think that should be Either way, you, you do your money, I do my money. I think a husband and wife should put that money together. You know, I'm big on that. So with that being said, I know y'all got secret bank accounts. Every woman does. <laughs> but check this out. Me and Bussy, we got getaway money. Every bro, every bro get getaway Whoa, money. go back to the every, finance. Every, every bro <laughs> the finance. Well, you, I think they should become, they should put Why together. Why do you think that? Why do you think that? Because the Bible says one puts a thousand to flight, two puts ten thousand to flight. All right I think it's, it's power. Remember, it's power. One snowflake does nothing, but when they get together, they can shut something down. So I think it's something about a marriage when you put stuff together, even the money. Some mm-hmm. brothers disagree with me, Bussy. Barbershop will tell me that, but I say, no, nah, I think you put that thing together, that's better. Put that thing together, pay them bills, and whoever's better with the bills handles the finances. You're right. But don't be silly with it. If she's not good with money, bros, check this out. Every yeah, I got a separate bank money. account. They, every woman's not good with money, <laughs> then you need to handle the account. And sisters, that brother ain't no good with money. He get paid on Friday, he broke Monday. So <laughs> no, check this out. We're going to make this thing Whoever's the best now, we've got a I'm blessing. I'm just joking, y'all. I don't have no separate bank account. And money. Well, I got a getaway account, church. I got a church, KZ, <sighs> bro. I'm like them gangsters. I got getaway money. Hey, Amen. I know. I know. I know. I'm gonna tell Bussy, go dig this up right here. So, right. Why you dig? Dig right. that up right there, Bussy, and bring me that bag. Right. You, you got a getaway account. I got a getaway account because y'all got six for us to get away. That's it. <laughs> get away. <laughs> For us to get away. You ever seen The Godfather? Or you ever seen, yep. uh, you ever seen uh, oh, Bumpy Johnson? And mm-hmm. You ever seen Frank Lucas? That's where you don't yeah. got time to go mm-hmm. to the you bank. You ain't got time you to go to the bank. Go. But he <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh man. Oh it's man, that's funny. That's funny. My special guest, Deacon Bussy and Deacon SJ. I'm so yes. excited, Pastor D. Tripped me. I did not know getting here. This they was made good. My I'm super, super excited, man. Check this out. I got some questions from the website. They said they want us to preach on the broadcast. I get four or five. I think it was four or five from the. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Hold on. I'm doing this little code thing. Let me make sure. I got four or five people. And I'm going to get back to the sister. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people who saw the show last week. Mm -hmm. They said something I said about First Corinthians. They wanted us to preach more on the broadcast. Well, we got to tell you, like we told Apostle James, we do the podcast. We didn't want to come on the podcast and preach. We mm -hmm. preach every Tuesday and every Sunday. And we honored to do that. We thank God for that. Me going on 23 years, my girl going on four years. So the podcast was for us to kick back, address certain issues, mm -hmm. and, you know, hit you with the word. So unless the Holy Spirit tells us, I don't think we're going to be preaching on the podcast. Yeah, and then this is my thing, I mean, too. Yeah, you know, like you we said, unwind. we preach on Tuesday and yeah, Sunday, right? Yeah. But this is where... We the conversations issues. that we have, we can address the issues that go on within yeah, the church that yeah. people always ask yeah, us. Are, but, yeah, they ask you know, come from and the you know, like, especially on Sundays, you know how, you know, they just kind of bum rush you with the questions mm -hmm. and the issues that they going on, got going on. Uh, but, yeah. you know what I mean? And so you can't really hit them like that unless we set up counseling. Mm -hmm. But then here's the opportunity for us to get a myriad of, um, mm -hmm. you know, people talking mm -hmm. and we can address those issues like with marital counseling, I mean, relationship issues and things of that nature. Find Finances, all of that blended families because we always hear questions about that the blended family so i'm back to it i apologize he said finish the text here's the husband's text pastor the reason i don't let her discipline the kids which there are my biological kids we got the blended family her kids are 16 and 13 the reason i don't let her do that is because she's too aggressive i've seen her that's why we was talking about the whipping or the spankings i've seen her whip or whoop the 16 year old uh very bad pastor her anger comes out she's high strung um she's mm. very aggressive woman she knows that but she is a sweet she's a sweetie pie and she is my sweetie pie that's her nickname her aggression came from her past where she was in domestic violence she saw domestic violence in the mm. house pastor you guys had touched on that before she said she told me about a show but but due to that domestic violence pastor she's very angry she also caught a domestic violence case with a boyfriend, but it was nothing too serious. Mm, wow, they've been wow, y'all really y'all being transparent. Okay, good bruh. All right, Deacon Bussy, I'm gonna let him go back. So that's why he doesn't want her to whip the Hello. kids. Okay. Interesting. And she had a little domestic violence. Well, it was what she saw in her home. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's touchy. We gotta yeah, well, okay. I, I kinda understand. I kinda understand a little I, bit now. I understand. I kinda understand, I understand. a little bit more. But I'm yeah. still, in, I still think. She but if he get disrespectful, or yeah. she gets re yeah. disrespectful, then I'm gonna put him in timeout. Then let the father deal with it when it comes home. I think the home. kids can still play on that. Yeah, I, I, they the can. Kids can still play. They can still do because stuff. they know he, she can't. Yeah, because did you tell her she? Yeah, that's still touchy. I, I understand what you're saying, good bro. But I'm saying I think she still needs the power mm. and the authority. To discipline those kids. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a physical discipline. Right, it could be okay. something she else. Still yeah, has to have right. the green light. Yes, to say, absolutely. You give me your phone. phone. Yeah, give me your phone. Yeah, and all stuff that. like that. Yeah. Absolutely. No type right. of where they trying yeah. to. They trying to be like, no, you can't take my yeah. phone. Or you trying to? They trying to take their phone. She still got that. She yeah, still it's not. It doesn't have to be too, physical. Yeah. Right. All the time. Right. right. It could be because you and know, is these that something that, like you phone. said, that they know about and so they kind of play on that? You know what I, I mean? Think. Kids know a lot. Yeah. Oh, know and they, they hear they things. Of yeah, course they, they do. Things. And if they're watching now, they yeah. just heard us. <laughs> right. and, her, and that aggressive, that aggressiveness might come in handy if you got a 16 year old. He might um, need to get hopped on. <laughs> he might need to get hopped on. So I might, I might be <laughs> like, get her. <laughs> get her. <laughs> that is too funny. Dignes, what do you think? Dignes, what do you think? Because she's high strung, do you think that. He, he, what he said verbatim that's why he doesn't want her those are his biological because baby's mom is in prison so how do you feel as a mother and a, and a woman mm. what do you think are you high strung that's what i was going to ask are you aggressive <laughs> i'm gonna ask um, you that i definitely have another side <laughs> I, I, I don't feel sasha like, fierce yeah, i don't feel i don't think i'm aggressive okay. mm -hmm. um, i think i can be aggressive mm -hmm. i think it can come out it definitely can um gotcha. but it's hard i mean because what I heard him say was, it's not like she's disciplining them any different than she disciplines her. Mm -hmm. 
but I understand what he's saying. And like he said, it doesn't always have to be physical. Physical, yes. Right. He definitely needs to have some authority. Yeah, yeah that's, that's for know. sure. Oh my God, you see yeah. Yeah. So he said yeah. he's seen her do it. I guess she being beat. She an angry black woman. Like she's like my wife, an angry black woman. Um, so with that being said, um, Apostle yeah, James, bro, yeah, I said I wasn't going to talk to you during the <laughs> show, that, but I'm going to do it now. Said, you see yeah. what you started? With that being mm-hmm. said, my main man Apostle mm-hmm. helped me out with the show. He stuttered on. So <laughs> I have an angry black woman too, but I never seen her. She said she. You you said you kind of like from your military. Did you jack Brittany and Janelle up? I think one time Janelle uh, told yeah, me. Yeah, that yeah. You jacked them up. Well, she wasn't. Yeah, because yeah, you know they're girls right and you know when they get to that age i'm a single parent and so one time you know it's always that one time when they gotta challenge you Mm -hmm. and that one time she challenged me Mm -hmm. i got her because i had to Mm -hmm. put that authority back in Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. did you forget Mm -hmm. maybe she forgot i'm i'm not sure but maybe she forgot and so i had to reassure her i'm still mom i'm still the taking care of you putting right. you through school all of that so i had to reassure her yeah then there was a time i had to yoke her up mm-hmm. so what would you do if you I didn't saw ab- me here's the thing let me let me go ahead and clarify that right, right. now i didn't abuse her right now but i had to yoke her up to yeah, remind her don't ever yeah. get out of line with right. me ever like that and don't ever you. disrespect me you an mm-hmm. abusive and what i've if, never had no problem like that if you like saw that? me putting it on antoine and aaron and our kids are small and Brittany and janelle would you feel the same way like bro you wouldn't want me to do that because you seen me putting it on antoine laying it down because you know he said she and then i'm high strung because are we blended are we doing this from we blend it we blend it yeah, they're married they're married they're not on the roof <sighs> how would you feel would you agree with him i'm trying to get do you see so, where you're coming from because he's seen her he said that's what that's what he get said. physical like yeah. that with her her children so would you it's a merit to what he's saying Mm-hmm. That's that's a tough man like that. Now wait a minute, cause we're gonna get into it now, cause you know your anger come out. Yeah, what you went through. Like, yeah, what you built, the horse will come out with Jane with the guy. No I'm disrespect, to, like like if that happened, I'm like, right. what caused you to go that go that far with them? Mm-hmm. It's, especially mine. Like I understand why you did it with yours or whatever. Maybe mm-hmm. that's how you had to d- handle them like that. Yeah. But mm-hmm. then we would have to have a talk. Why did what? What did that my child do, and what led you to go di- and you know that far out with them? You know, because if you especially didn't see me doing it as their mother, I know you do it as a parent. But mm-hmm. if you didn't see me do that like that with them, what caused you? And then why you couldn't come talk to me or settle down before you got to that point with them? Right. That we would have had a que- we have we would have had a conversation. Good bro said he loves the show. He just sent us free tickets to see Carlos Santana. Y'all hip to Carlos Santana? I think I've seen him before. I've seen him one time at the Brothers Lounge. He just sent us four tickets. Send me six so Apostle and First Lady Kathy can come. I don't know what you do for a living, but I thank you, good brother. Send us six tickets. We need six tickets. I need one for Apostle James. I need one for First Lady Kathy. I know you're going to yeah. do it. He said, he said, pay, the bubble's popping up, so he texts it. I need six tickets, bro. You, you sent me two. You said two. Uh, he's sending them. Praise God. We have six tickets to see Carlos Santana who, who at the Carlos music Santa? box oh, downtown. In the I know flats. the music box. There you go. We'll be there. Apostle James, First Lady Kathy, Deacon Bussy, Deacon. The church coming to the music box. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there. That's right beside Shooters, yeah. ain't it? Right yeah. beside mm-hmm. uh, the comedy club. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I saw Stephen A down there. First take. That's good. All right. Thank you, good brother. You ain't got to tell me what you do, but I'm glad. Well, I'm glad we know you, bro. We need you to come to church Sunday, man. You get free tickets <laughs> to Carlos Santana. Just said, we don't. We, we got you. I'm a friend. Oh, she. He said finish reading the text i'm sorry sister hold on i gotta find it hold on hold on hold on i apologize i'm gonna hold on i'm gonna get that was a long text girl look how long this text is i'm a strump see look how long the text is he is still going i know i see girl, that's a long Jesus. text okay i'm picking back up on it hold on where we left off at pastor i am aggressive pastor i saw domestic violence in my home growing up my mother was aggressive with my dad i saw my mother Take a frying pan, hit him on the head with a frying pan for real, Pastor. I seen him, I seen her throw glasses at him. Mm. I seen her push him down the stairs. Pastor, my mom was 4'11 and 120 pounds. My dad was 5'7 and 160 pounds. And he went through domestic violence with my mother. Pastor got so bad, Auntie had to get us from Chicago and take us up. Everything got back together, but I've seen so much domestic violence. And Pastor, I was molested at the age of 16. Mm. Um, Someone put something in my drink, I do believe, but the molester was a family member. Mm. It was my mother's brother's cousin, as the story goes, Pastor. That's where my aggression comes from. But through my love, I've learned to try to control my aggression, Mm -hmm. aggression, she's Mm -hmm. saying. 
but I do need to work on that. I right, still right, right. think I need to be able to discipline the children. Please continue to help us. Good show. We like the show. Gotcha. Okay, my good sister. I know it all. I always tell people it always comes from our past, what we've been through. Um, and I uh, apologize. And I think I, uh, we uh, lift you up as uh, mm -hmm. any woman who's been molested or raped. I can't stand it as a man. Right. And if I was a judge, you know, he would definitely do prison time. But um, we uh, lift you up in the Lord and we understand um, life. And it's always a family member. I think that's the disgusting part about mm -hmm. it. Um, any crime against a woman, it violates her body and her virginity is just disgusting to me. Um, with that being said, you saw that it, it, it's always sometime I heard of those reversals where the, the mom was beating up on the dad mm -hmm. instead of the uh, wow. So I imagine that's kind of serious, too. So with that being said, my sister, I do kind of understand you uh, and good broth. Still think you need to release her to discipline the kids. I got it right here without anger management. What about anger management? I got mm -hmm. two psychiatrists I can call. I can get mm -hmm. you some anger management. I know mm -hmm. I can. I think what about anger management? And pastoral counseling always work, but I say anger management. Mm -hmm. So, Deacon Bussy, what do you think? Because you got to know how to channel it. A little bit. What do you feel? Would you still, if you was him, would you release her to whip the kids? Or do you see why he doesn't allow it? Or should she be able to do timeouts? He needs some advice from you as a man. What would you do if Jay was aggressive, super aggressive? You saw her beating down Charlie and Charles. And then she told you what she's been through in her life told you what she saw in her home and now would you how do you feel now would you give her authority to do it or would you still wait till i get home baby i'll take care of it i probably would mm -hmm. i would trust okay. her because okay. that's my partner mm -hmm. Ooh, and i'm dealing trust. with her so i know her mm -hmm. right. so yeah. i would have to give her the trust until i see it go too far mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. as long as it ain't went too far we don't know right. if she would discipline them and be in the and discipline them to well, a certain way, degree different right. than she 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 disappeared her, her kids, kids because right, then right, was right. hers exactly. so she might lighten up on the discipline I would think so. I, was gonna, I, yeah. I would like to yeah. see yeah. that though yeah. Yeah. I would like to yeah. be like go ahead let me too. just see let me see if we get too crazy, crazy. Yeah, then we can have to talk about yeah just like in boxing we got to throw in the throw in the time we got to you see we got the job we got the other thing we got the thing when we throw that white time there you go I was thinking the same thing but see we're on the same wavelength that's one thing I like about my deacon i was thinking also let me see her in action mm -hmm. yes. and because i'm still thinking i don't think she would do the whipping like she does her children yes and that's mm -hmm. no disrespect i know we got the blended family because i think that's going to click in mm -hmm. see what i'm saying i don't think you would discipline charles the way his biological dad would exactly mm -hmm. exactly so what i i agree with deacon bussy and i'm gonna swing it over to you and jay what y'all think do you can she can she would you let her discipline or is she too wild I'm in agreement with um, Buster, Deacon Buster. Yeah, I yeah. am. Let's see I, um, how I, I like go. that. See how I go. Really let's see how I go. Yeah, yeah because I don't, I don't never want say, her whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, to lose that authority. You yeah, know what I mean? That's, that's and then, like huge. you said, yeah, you know yeah. how our children she can really that. play on that. Yeah, so, um, mm -hmm. yeah, let me see. Let me let me, let me check it out. Okay. Let, like let me check you, let me see. Let me check it out. Like how how you talk to Brittany and Janelle. Right. What the things that you say. Let me let me check it out first. Yeah. Yeah. Jay, what you think? Would you let? Would you still ho ho? No, girl. You two. Would you want to see her in action? Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, agree, I yeah. agree. With I think that. we agree. You remember with how that. some people, when we yeah. was talking, um, they they said they're not releasing the person. Oh yeah, to, yeah. Um, people tell us that. Yeah, um, have that place in their child's life. Nah. I don't yeah. see how that works. Yeah, I wanted um, to. So for real, some people told us they're not releasing right, yeah, their right, their right. spouse That's or their boyfriend or whatever. Um, uh, to discipline their children. Right. Now yeah. Charles didn't got out of hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. See. At what? Fourteen. Fourteen. Right. And. His father came over to the house. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. That's good. So I didn't, I like that. you know, I didn't. You didn't have. To. I didn't be like, oh, you can't come in my house. Right, 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 stuff. right. Said, come on, yeah, come on. And I here go the belt. Yeah. Take this belt. This right. is a little yeah. thicker. I <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me too. Bussy. Make sure Bussy, you like me. We from, there. The, we from the, the old school. school. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And I agree. In a blended family like that, I agree that let the biological come over and do his do his do his one two. Now I got a question. What if you? What if you? Um. Okay, here's from a single perspective, and I and I was like this. Mm -hmm. So raising my children by myself, right? Um, and I'm here, but right. that this their father is in another um, place, right? How do how would you, I'm gonna ask you just just ask you this question? How would you feel if they're trying to tell the children something totally different than how I'm you're? Teaching. Um, teaching them mm -hmm. and, and, and um, the values and right. morals and stuff right. like that. Right. And there's just total, totally opposite than, than yours. How would you feel about that? Right. I, I'm not going to like that at all. No, yeah. I can't do that. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, 
if you're under my roof, mm-hmm. right, then I mean, I'm not going to disrespect your parent, your mm-hmm. right. parent in right. any manner, right. but you're mm-hmm. going to follow yeah. these rules. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. right. I mean, whatever is being told to you by your father, mm-hmm. that's fine. You can do yeah. that over there. Yeah. Right. But what happens over here is what I did. I'm what we did total today. agreement. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Hey, y'all, The I know mama's in prison, uh, mama's incarcerated, but hit me up. Uh, Deacon Bussy said something just hit my spirit because sometimes it's the, the parent on the outside, let's just be transparent, telling the kid something. Yeah. So I, do they talk to mom from prison is my first question. Mm-hmm. And I pray and hope they do. You know, bro, I'm a chaplain. You guys know how, how much I love prison ministry. Um, do they get to talk to mom and what is mom telling them? Text me and let me know because I think Deacon Bussy is right. Now in the, in the free world, as we call it, yeah, they can't be, if you're under that person's roof, you know, it's that person's rules. Mm-hmm. Yes. So he can't be listening to what dad is telling you. That's dad is the ex, mm-hmm. ex husband, ex, ex, ex. But mm-hmm. he's the child's father. We respect that. But if he's under the roof, under bus, he's roofing my roof. Then you gotta abide by those rules. Absolutely. How do y'all feel about that as women? But I told you I had to. I had to right. check that at one point in time. Right. Um, because he was telling them something totally different than what I said. Right. But I got them too from the outside. From the outside. But I got them too because my mom. I'm from that old school, and I know what right. people are gonna say. Whatever I do in my house stays in my house, house, except for things if something happening crazy, you Mm -hmm. know, somebody Mm -hmm. doing something to you, you come talk to me about that. But if I'm telling you something to do, if I told you can't do this, you don't go outside my house, call your other parent and tell them and then they come give you something and you think you're going to wrong answer. So not only did I check him, but I had Mm -hmm. to check them, too, because he wouldn't have known what was going on in my house. Unless one of them call. Exactly. Pastor, the so, yeah. kids have a right to talk to their biological parent outside of the house. And that biological parent still has rights, even though they're not in the house. I totally disagree. <laughs> I totally disagree. Y'all know me. I totally disagree. Totally. You know, I'm, you know, I'm open. Y'all tell told this ain't this. We ain't in the pulpit. I totally disagree. Mm-hmm. Almost made me say a bad word. Totally wrong. <laughs> totally wrong. That person on the outside ain't got nothing to do with what's going on in my house. Doc. Mm-hmm. We, we can't mm-hmm. roll. We yeah. can't roll. You can't mm-hmm. roll like that. Then if that's the case, then that kid's going to have to go live with that parent. But they, if you blend that thing together, I think you can do it, but you got to do it the right mm-hmm. way. Yeah. We can't be. No, I totally disagree with that one. I totally disagree no, with that one. No, what about if we're on the same? If we're yeah. on the same page, yeah. or, or better yet, I, I told him I said it would have been better if you would have called me and asked me what was going on yeah. than giving them total different information, um, differently than what I told yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. barbershop said, "Don't let another man, don't let another woman run your house." Mm-hmm. Pastor, we agree with you. Mm-hmm. Totally wrong. Mm-hmm. And I like mm-hmm. what the brother said. He'll even and give the biological father a belt mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah you're right that's right because right, i feel dear. like yeah yeah i feel like if this woman still if she outside the household and she mm-hmm. still quietly got feelings for mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. Come on, mm-hmm. you, you always got to think about mm-hmm. that she don't like the woman that i pick mm-hmm. and, and you mm-hmm. go and always she can with, cause yeah. havoc mm-hmm. in my yeah. household mm-hmm. all day. Problem absolutely all day every you know, all day all day all day he works through it that's <laughs> nah, I don't work through my the devil work through everybody. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's it. He yeah. see that that's his way in. Yes, yeah. absolutely. She still for you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. She's telling them something like, no, I don't do, don't listen. Mm-hmm. You don't listen to no. Why you don't have to listen absolutely. to no? Absolutely. And I can't deal with and that. You can't like, deal yeah. with that. At that point, no. I might have to say, y'all gonna have to go live with mom. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm totally we agreeing about choice. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They do talk to mom from prison, pastor, two to three times a week, and that had be- that has been a problem. And I think that still is a problem. Mm-hmm. Wow based on what mom is saying yes and mom cannot stand my wife Mm. and my wife cannot stand the children's mother and we believe the children know that Mm. and y'all hope the children ain't watching y'all make sure the children ain't watching let's do a little make sure because i know on all the our devices or stuff like that so yeah with the the twins are 11 and the nine-year-old so they do talk to mom so that's again y'all gotta y'all gotta y'all gotta get that together she definitely can't run nothing from no prison Mm -mm. (laughs) And but what's in the house now? This ain't this ain't the TV. This ain't the mafia and the Godfather. You can't be running in from inside prison in my house. So y'all definitely got to shut that down. I think. What do y'all think is women? So the woman doesn't like the children's mother. Doesn't like her. She doesn't like him. The kids probably know that too. At nine and eleven. Me and my sister was talking about right. this one day. I, I I do not understand. Like when you get a divorce, right? Mm-hmm. And we're divorced and so you go and be with somebody else Mm -hmm. i go be with somebody why can't we get why is there always um issues i I don't i've never understood that you you got an issue with me but we, we're divorced, so why yeah. why why are we having issues? There shouldn't be no issues. You, you know, we don't have saying? issues with our exes. We don't have issues with our exes. No, I, I'm saying yeah. 
me and my sister was talking about oh. this one time, and it was yeah, it no, came up in com- not not me and you. Oh, okay, got you. I'm not the angry I black know, yeah, woman. Yeah, you are. You an angry black woman, so you might hmm. you got issues with me. You got issues with the ex husband, the ex boyfriend, the guy from the military. You angry black woman. See what I'm saying? The people on the job. I, I go through this from store, the time I get up. Yeah, that's that shit. <laughs> the time I go to bed, y'all. That, pop, that, joke, that joke angry everywhere she goes. She got angry at the beauty shops. She got angry at the nail tech. You got, I'm, we, I'm not angry. I say, game, I say to myself, you at the cash. You say, why you put us right here? This is what we bought the seats at. Where the seats at? We on the first row. <laughs> Pops, I said we got courtside seats. Why they put us? I on just our seat? never understood My dude, that. Trying to give us court. Why they put us down here? Because they they try to look out for pastor and pastor's wife. All right. All right. Come on. No, I'm done. So what you think you done? Yeah, if I'm done. Right, right, no, right. I understand where you're coming from. Though. Yeah. Like, after the after the divorce, it's a wrap. People should be able to move on, but yeah. They Most never people, they never do, and that's they men do. and women. Mm-hmm. They never do. Mm-hmm. They want to still try to make your life mm-hmm. living. Right. I don't well. get you that. Do that. You don't do that with your exes. Do you do that with your y'all? I, I, I do not, not, not care. You don't do that. I, I, I do not. That. I know you're not on that. No, We're not I'm trying not to be funny. That. We're not on that. With that's what I said. But yeah. wait, and then. And I don't even have to have a relationship with you like that, especially when our kids are grown. I, I don't even have to have a relationship no. with you like that. No, just, and and, yeah, and, and cool. for no reason, you don't have no to call animosity. me and try to, no. you know, be, be my best friend because I'm not even on that. I'm just saying you, we, it, it happened good. for a reason. It, it was a good run. It was a good like run, and it is what it is. We don't have to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was yeah. a good run. That's what Kobe said. It was a yeah. good run. It's over. Some, we don't even and I told have some to do that. It was good. I was telling Pastor B about a job situation. She was asking me about. I have an ex. I told her I could call. She's in a high position at her job. We won't mm. say the job. You know what I'm talking about. We won't say the name. But I, she's a type of woman. Yes, I could call. Mm-hmm. And yes, she would hook. She would hook you up with the job. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Because she's just like that. But not yeah. all of them. Not, not all. Not all. Some of you can't know because there's going to be some strings. There's going to be an ulterior motive. Yeah, there's some motives yeah. behind and it. i got no, another so, ex that's so. uh, uh, another ex that could help us in ministry remember mm-hmm. i was telling you about that no names or position i can't say that uh, help us financially you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying not talking about giving money based on their occupation uh, uh shoot i'm gonna say it. they're a cpa mm-hmm. so they could help us but we, i can't do that because then now you get some see what i'm saying you can't yeah. do that yeah. so i think you kind of know which exes to do that with yes. right right right, and, right but i still think an ex shouldn't run nothing no no nah. no absolutely I not that. i've had i've had I've had to um, actually not deal with my children because mm. of the mother trying to run me because mm. I have children by her. Yeah. So I just was like, okay, well, when they get old enough, they'll come find right, me. Right, 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 right. I don't believe in a man being controlled by me neither. a yeah. kid's mother yeah. due to the fact that she no. got them kids. No, no. Me not neither. at all. That's, that's a good point. You can't let yeah. that happen. No. Your girl gonna look at you and look at you and think like you yeah. must you weak. weak. That's yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, but she gonna think and you now, weak. Yeah, that's gonna. I think that's, that's good, but see, that's good. That's, that's good. Yeah. 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 That's I good. Like that. She's that's gonna, good. You're gonna appear to be weak to your. I'm woman. not at your beck and call. You you don't get to do that. And then and then don't use don't use the children as um you know a tool of cons. Yeah, yeah. You moving them pieces all over. They they gonna be jacked up too. You doing that for real? That's good. Yeah, we're not doing that. No, I like that. no, I like that. Wow. Don't get to that. No, no, I no, like that. No. I like that. Mm-mm. I like that. That is something there. What about this? That's what about this, Pastor? Have you guys ever thought about this and asked the panel up there today? What if she was to discipline the child and then hit the child too hard, or the child falls over and hit their head on a dresser, and then we're doing a home going service? Well, that's what that would be why you wouldn't want her to um, maybe give her release her call mm-hmm. okay to release her. It's not TV, but release mm-hmm. her to do something um, uh, like that. A uh, buddy of mine was swinging his kid, uh, his stepson by the ankles. He was like three mm-hmm. years old, swinging him around the house and hit the head on a dresser and he died. Okay. And he caught a case behind that. And um, so with that being said, I do kind of understand why you wouldn't release in, mm-hmm. in that regard because mm-hmm. things can get out of hand. But Bussy said, Deacon Bussy said, we got a white towel. Remember, so we're going to throw the towel mm-hmm. in before that happens. Mm-hmm. So I'm still saying I think she should have the authority to discipline that child. Mm-hmm. Even with a scenario like that. Because we know things happen, but yeah, that doesn't things, happen. I mean, that doesn't yeah. happen day, every day. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Wow. Praise the Lord. Run out of time. Never out of word. There we go. I think we got, wow, made it through the show. 17, 18, mm. nine minutes to go. Got to invite y'all to the church, 1799 yes. East 55th Street. Got to check us out. She's preaching the word this Sunday. We had a powerful word on Wednesday night. We did Matthew 22, 37, loving God with all our heart, soul, and mind. Mm-hmm. And I took them to the TPT version with every passion, energy, and thought. 
And I just want y'all to know this. Somebody told me I, I, I use it in a sermon and somebody told me to bring it back. You may not be asking for too much. You may just be asking the wrong person. person. Yeah. I want you to keep that in mind. Let that sit. Let that just sink in till we see you next time. Uh, you may not be asking for too much, but you may be asking the, the wrong, wrong person. person. Amen. Mm -hmm. We got to remember that someone, they text me and told me to bring that back up on the broadcast. The other thing we wanted you to know today, if I plant the seed, Pastor V will water the seed. Mm -hmm. That's enough word for you. Let's finish the broadcast. <laughs> turn, that's enough word for you. That's 1 Corinthians Ooh. 3, 6. We thank God for that. Mm -hmm. uh, what's, what is the most exciting part about being a deacon so far? What do you like most about it? I know we come to church. That's that's we we do that. What do you like most about being a deacon? Because what I like most, I like. Uh, well, you know me. I'm a I'm a old. I like helping my pastor. That's what I like most about it. Shout out to uh, the Reverend Pastor Edward McGee, True Mind Missionary Baptist Church, nine five four Lynn Drive, and they moved the church to one hundred five in St. Clair. Um, and that's what I liked. I like serving mm -hmm. the pastor. I like helping. Like, we was we did a lot together in ministry. That's what I liked. Okay. What you like most about it? So. Um. <laughs> Besides standing up in the front, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. I'm gonna say, good. I'm gonna say, like I've always that. been a, I've always been a person that right. that looked out for people. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I, it was my, like if I seen somebody Buddy. and they needed something and I had it, mm -hmm. it let me give it to them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Selflessly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. That's the good that's thing I like about being a deacon. Yeah. That I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really helping people yes. and giving back really. to the community and yeah. everything. Wow. Like yeah. it's, it's just natural for me. So it's gonna it's be like I fall into my natural habitat. Yeah. Oh yeah, my god, yeah, that's good. Deacon, that's what you like most about it. From the time you grew up in church, grandma raised mm -hmm. you in church, so you like us. We all old school. Somebody's raised us in church. All of us was, you know that. Yeah. What do you like most about it? And would your grandma is in heaven? Yes. She be well. You know she's proud of you. I ain't yeah. even gotta say that. What do you like most about it? For so me, far, starting um, off. It's just for me coming into this ministry, like right. I've always like I grew up in church, it's always yeah. been a part of my life. Good, but good. This agape lifestyle is just different. <laughs> oh, praise it's God. different. It's it taking is. me to another, another level. level. It's mm -hmm. taking my wow. family to good, another level. Good, and good. like I said, from the first time we walked in, I, it wow. felt like home. It so, felt like home, it does. It, People it, say that. I know that yeah, I like that. It's gonna be big. I it's gonna be big. Mm -hmm. that. I went to the bank next year. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. Excited. We're so excited. Yeah, we're so excited. We're yes. in the midst of paying off our lease buyback. We moved to a 6,400 square foot facility in uh, Granger Road in Valley View. And after the pandemic, we made it through 2021, 22. We bought out the lease uh, about a year and a half early, two years early, so we could get this building project going. We're five months away from paying it off, and we're headed to the bank in 2026. Uh, 2025, I'm sorry, to get that bank loan. So we're mm -hmm. excited about that. We're excited about the people that God has given us to grow with. Mm -hmm. And I'm really proud of this, man. Deacon Bussy's guy came to the service when we announced he was in yeah. training the first Sunday of this month. He joined the service. Shout out to my man, uh, Michael. And then uh, he came back. He missed one Sunday and came back. Then he told me this week he's bringing his mother. And he said he's inviting people to the church. Wow. wow. I said, oh, my God. Through me. That's a blessing. I've yeah. been drafting, too. You know? I know you've been drafting. Yeah, I, said, I can tell. I can he tell. said not drafting. Yeah. I'm like, you need to come to my church. church. Check yeah. your check They're yeah. like, all right, I'm going to come. Yeah. Send me that address. Growing mm -hmm. by leaps and bounds. Last week, seven new online members. We thank God. Seven mm -hmm. people joined the church by way of online ministry. This Sunday, I forgot to do an intro. I apologize. I realized it like on Tuesday or Wednesday. I realized I didn't do an <laughs> intro. But the Sunday before that, I apologize. The Sunday, not this Sunday. Sunday before that, we had seven new members uh, by way of our online ministry. Check us out, uh, Agape Connection, mm -hmm. that's Facebook, Agape underscore Christian Center, that's uh, Instagram, and then check her out, Pastor underscore Aiken 2. Check me out, Pastor underscore Aiken, and then check out our YouTube page, Agape mm -hmm. Christian Center CLE. That's our social media platform. We thank God. End of the month, we got four minutes left. Woman of God, what would you like to tell the people? I have no idea. Oh, you have you no just idea. been. It's just been one of those weeks. One of those weeks, a good week or a stressful it's, week it's, on the job? It's a stress. It's, That's why you be so angry to just pay your angry black woman because what? It's just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Something you not do, you don't do it on Friday. <laughs> Shout out to Lady D. She watches our show and she always comments on the show. Shout out to Lady D, another KAZ comrade. Mm -hmm. I watch your show, Lady D. <laughs> and shout out to Michelle Rice. I like your show also. I always like it. Apostle uh, James and First Lady Kathy is at the breakfast table or breakfast club? 
breakfast table. I like the breakfast table. Those are one <laughs> shot to my man, Apostle Leon Nelson and his wife, uh, Margaret or Marjorie. I remember him. I met him from back in the day. So those are some people that I like. On, and I like my man that plays the piano. I check you out too. You remind me of Deacon Bernard. could be Deacon Bernard's father. My brother, he plays the piano. I like you on there too. We sat with you at the affair for the oh, pink yeah, affair. There it is. Him. So we yeah. thank God. There it is. Uh-oh. I turned in washing dishes at work pastor y'all look great oh your son said i'm tuned in washing dishes at work y'all look great that's my <laughs> man tez <laughs> tez god bless you man that's dig and mm-hmm. son and tez i got something for you sunday me and pastor we was talking about you sunday we've been in prayer about mm-hmm. something so make sure you're at church sunday i gotta elevate i gotta ask you something in ministry and we thank god tell everybody on the job about agape christian or we thank god mm-hmm. jay what do you got we out of here we got one minute we get mm-hmm. three minutes but we're gonna be out of here what you got I think that um, in 2024, people need to bring back order. Yeah, Ooh. order is important, and that's Ooh. what we that that needs to be focused on mm-hmm. right now. I like that order. Mm-hmm. Deacon Bussy, what you got at um, 807? We got come three check minutes. Come check us out. Come check us out at the Agape Christian Center. Right. I think mm-hmm. it's going to change your life. It is. I, think I it walked is. in there and wow. I never stopped coming. Right, that is mm-hmm. true. And you for me to want to go back to church every week, like that's a big thing. I used that's to be in the bed like this. <laughs> Acting like I was still asleep. Like, like, yeah, That's like, funny. If they don't touch me, if they don't touch me I ain't gonna say You ain't going. Like, you ain't going. I love it, woman. Oh, that's funny, man. What you preach about Sunday? Come on. What you preach about? Give me a little snippet. In pursuit. In pursuit. I like pursuit. In pursuit. Being an angry black woman. Yep. If you're gonna stay on your A game, you gotta be in pursuit of something. I like that for real. A game. You gotta be in pursuit of something. Not anger, though. Praise God. <laughs> I'm going to be angry with him when we leave out of here. We thank God agape. We said one pinky, one finger, one thumb. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> Deacon Bussy, Deacon SJ, God bless you. We yeah. love you. <laughs>